that started. Okay, this is a question on bank reconciliation. All right, basically, you are trying to reconcile the cash at bank account with the bank statement. All right, because you see that at the bottom here, it's 1332 and this is 1281. All right, the two balances are different. By right, right, what happens in your company, your cash at bank account should be the same as what the bank sends to you. Correct or not? Okay, but they are different. What are some of the reasons accounting for the differences? One of them is things that are done at the bank side, which you don't know about. So you would not have done it in your cash at bank account. Okay? The other thing is, there are things that you do on your side, which has the bank has not known about it yet. For example, checks that you write. Okay? And if you write to people like maybe Tang Kai, Nicholas, and then they delay on giving it to the bank, okay, then it will not have the bank will not know about it. All right, the other thing is when you receive checks, all right, and you fail to bank it in, okay, you haven't bent it in yet, then also the bank wouldn't know about it. So it's about timing differences, huh? okay? So what we're doing here is to reconcile the two balances, which is the 1332 here with the 1281. All right, so the first step is we need to check the beginning balances to see whether they are the same first. Okay, later on when we do other questions, you'll understand why I need to check the beginning. Okay, so if we check the beginning, 4400 and 4400 here, so they are the same. Okay, no issue here. And you will notice that in the cash at bank account, it's reflected as a debit balance. Which means that, is there money or there's no money? There is, right? It's a debit balance. It's an asset, it's a debit balance. But why is it in the bank statement is reflected as a credit balance? Does it mean that you owe money? Because the bank owes you money. Correct, because the bank owes you money. So you are a liability for the bank. The bank owes you money, therefore you are reflected as a credit by the bank. Okay? Everyone okay so far? Okay, huh? Then we're going to look at what are the things that are the same, all right, for the cash at bank account and the bank statement, which means that both sides have taken into account. That means your business side, you have recorded it, the bank also has recorded it, okay? So when you do that, you start ticking off. So the first thing I see is Cairo Trading, which is 1950, all right, I paid out to him and this check has been cleared, so there's a withdrawal, 1950 as well. Okay, then there's a inventory that I purchased, 1840. Alright, and this is the check number, 28832, 1840. Okay, so you begin to pick off. Fine. Okay, these are the things that are in the bank statement that are not in the cash at bank account. So I'm going to circle them. Direct payment insurance, interest charges, direct deposit chi xiong, direct payment rent, and bank charges. Okay, so because these have been entered, all right, on the bank side, and I didn't enter into my cash at bank account, I will need to update my cash at bank account with these things that are here. Is that okay, everyone? Okay, yeah? All right, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, 
At the same time, you will also see things that are in the cash at bank account that are not reflected in the bank statement. Okay, so I have this Sing Fang Holdings, drawings here, and Hong Kong supplies. Alright, what might be those things that are on the credit side? Drawings and Hong Kong supplies. This means what? That I actually paid these people. I credited out from my cash at bank account. So, are these checks that are not yet presented or are they deposits in transit? Deposits in transit means that I have collected the check but I have not banked it in. That's a deposit in transit. This is, you, you give the check to others but the other guy never banked it in. Correct. So this one is a check not yet presented. Okay. So these two will be checks not yet presented. So you have already withdrawn out from your business cash and bank account here. Okay. But the person, uh, whoever you have given it to, has not presented to the bank yet. Okay, you have just done it on your record. Alright, what about this one, Sing Fang Holdings? What is it? You debited it, right? You debited your cash at bank account, which means that you received a check from Sing Fang Holdings. Yes, you have not banked it in yet. Okay, that's what it means. Uh, All right, so this is called a deposit in transit. Okay, so now uh, we are going to update the cash at bank account first. So we will ignore these first. We will update the cash at bank account first. All right, so after updating the cash at bank account, this is how the cash at bank account will look. Alright, can you check against yours? Is that what you did? Alright, so you start off with the... How do you know it's a trade receivable? Okay, let's look at... Okay, we start from the beginning, okay? So, the 1332 is the uh, cash at bank balance, right, at May 31st. Okay, it says May 29 here, but of course the last date is May 31st, uh, of which there were no transactions. Okay, so when you're updating your cash at bank account, it's always the last date. Alright, so May 31st, 1332 debit. So, that's what I will do first. All the rest of the dates are all May 31st because I'm doing adjustments here. Okay, so we'll go one by one. The first one I see is an insurance, alright, of which it is a withdrawal. So a withdrawal means what? I am crediting out, correct? Okay, so credit out here. Alright, 1007. And the double entry will be debit insurance expense because it's an expense, right? So debit insurance expense, credit cash at bank account. Is that okay? All follow so far? Okay, yeah. Then I look at the next one that I need to enter. Interest charges, also a withdrawal, right? So credit out 34. Credit out 34 and I put interest expense here. Okay, then coming to Nicholas' question, how do I know it's a trade receivable? I look here, it's a direct deposit by Chi Song. Alright, so yes, I do not know whether it's a trade receivable or not, but I'm just going to call it a trade receivable, that's fine. It's somebody who owes me money, that's why they're paying me. Okay, and the particulars here tells me it's from Chi Song. Alright, so you can make this assumption that it's a trade receivable and you must put the name Chi Song. Okay, and you would debit because you're receiving the money. It's a deposit. 
Okay, so you will debit your cash at bank and you will credit your trade receivable Chi Song because you are reducing the amount that Chi Song owes you. That's why you are crediting Chi Song. Okay, then the next one would be direct payment rent. So rent has been deducted from your uh, bank account. All right, your business bank account. So that would be rent expense. Okay, 1030. Debit rent expense, credit cash at bank account. Okay, then finally, bank charges. So there are five adjustments you need to make. All right. Bank charges is also an expense. You will credit out and you will write down bank charges. So after all these, okay, then you will find the new balance. When you find the new balance, why do I write down credit here? What happened? Now I'm owing the bank money because I've drawn more than what I have. So it became a credit balance. Do you follow? Yes, I did bring down. Okay, yep, you're right. You should bring down to the next month. Okay? Hey, Dick. Okay, now that I've updated the cash at bank account, all right, you will get 611 credit. Okay, so you would have updated with these items um, interest expense, in, insurance expense, interest expense, trade receivable, chi song, rent expense, and bank charges. All right, remember that the beginning balance that you put here will be the ending balance that you see in your cash at bank account. Here. This one here, huh? one, three, three, two. Okay? So your one, three, three, two is here. Okay? Then after updating, you'll get 611. All right? Now you can start preparing your bank reconciliation statement. So you will write down Liu Enterprise Bank Reconciliation Statement. As at 31st May 20 at 6. So use this last date, 21st May, 31st May, sorry. All right, then you will start off with balance as per bank statement, okay, which is this one here. All right, the last date here, okay, 1281. All right, and because it's debit, it's a negative figure. Okay, so you start over here, balance as per bank statement. Then you add deposits in transit. Where do you get all these figures? It's from here. Okay, all these circled ones. So your debit here, Sing Fang, means that down here you have already debited, but bank statement doesn't show. Okay, so the balance as per bank statement, you need to add it in. All right, so you add in your Sing Fang holdings and you less the checks not yet presented. So these two, all right, then you will get 611, all right, also still negative and that's your adjusted balance as per cash at bank account. So when these two match, all right, it means that you have reconciled. Okay, all right, that's it.